How do I survive parental alienation? My 13-year-old daughter wants nothing to do with me. The little contact she does give me is full of hurt and resentment. I left after 10 years in our marriage due to abuse. It's been a year and a half since our divorce was finalized and we have 50-50. Is a court really going to allow a 13-year-old to say that she wants nothing to do with a parent when there has been absolutely no indication of abuse. Hi, Billy Tarasio, Arizona Family Law Attorney. This is a question from the Modern Divorce Support Group. And um, I talked about this in a podcast recently about alienation. Many of the comments on the podcast really disagreed with me about alienation. And there is a comment in response to this parent on the Modern Divorce Support Group that says, that really encourages the parent to sit really hard and think about what they could have done to alienate their child or to make their child not want to see them because in their particular situation, they're living with a child who doesn't want to have anything to do with the other parent and they have their reasons. So maybe this mom or dad, whoever it is, it doesn't say the gender, should just sit harder and think about what they could have done to deserve rejection from their 13 year old. I'm angry, I don't like it, I want to talk about it. This is not natural. It is not natural for children to hate their parents or reject their parents. Children who are taken out of abusive situations and put into foster care want to go back home to their abusive parents overwhelmingly. And yet somehow when we have divorce and when we have a power dynamic where one parent is more powerful than the other and wants to use a child to hurt the less powerful parent and and it works and the child rejects that parent we somehow think that 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 is normal and and that you should just search deep to figure out what you did to deserve this i i just totally disagree certain behavior to me is black and white alienation and it's kind of like um for those of you who are parents if you if you ever dropped your kids off at daycare or preschool or kindergarten if you went to your kids and you riled them up oh honey i'm gonna miss you so much it's gonna be okay one more hug that would set them up for failure right you would get a specific reaction from those children those children would be terrified to leave you this is what alienators do they do the same thing in a a different age appropriate uh, version that that gets the same result that gets a child completely spun up and anxious and fearful of a situation that they shouldn't be fearful of. So when you send your kids to school, you want to be confident that you're going to have a good time, hun. You're going to be fine. I'll see you after school. And then you create an environment where you are open, of course, to them giving you feedback, but they get to direct the conversation. It's not unusual for us as parents to screw up or to do things that our kids don't like. That happens all the time. It is incredibly uh, unusual that a child wouldn't forgive you for that or would reject you because of it. And if that is happening and you're not abusive, you had a good relationship with your children pre-divorce and you were in an abusive dynamic where one person had more power and now the child is aligning with that power, you're probably in an alienation dynamic. When children don't wanna see one parent and it is reasonable, it's because the relationship is so bad or they're subjected to conditions that are really, really bad. So one parent is drunk all the time or they're not taken care of or there's not food. And even then they still wanna see the parent, they just want the conditions to be better. After so many years in family law and working with so many pa parents, um, it's usually pretty easy to tell when is it alienation and when is a child afraid of a parent or afraid of conditions that have to be changed in order for the child to feel okay. Let me give you another example. We recently did a termination of parental rights case. This father had two kids. He had pretty horrifically abused one of the kids. We tried to terminate rights on both children. The court, the juvenile court, allowed us to terminate on the child that dad had abused but would not let us terminate on the younger child because in the year of supervised visits that have been happening the the little boy who hadn't been abused wanted to see his dad he looked forward to seeing his dad he wanted a better relationship with his dad and that is normal 
So my advice, as always, with parental alienation, spot the signs early, intervene dramatically, get into family counseling, get courts involved when you need to, fight back early, don't let this get out of control. And if it's out of control now, you're gonna have to strap in and fight really hard, but you can come back from this. And if you don't do it now, you, uh, unfortunately, the studies and the research shows that sometimes your relationship with your children is ruined like forever, even when they're adults. So please don't just let this happen to you. Don't let this happen to your children. Please fight back against alienation.